I'm super late. <laughs> That's the weird thing I must say. I'm super duper late, but I have a good excuse. Well, depending on your life circumstances and how much empathy you have for me, understand. So, hello, everyone who is likely not here because they have no idea to expect me to be live. So, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm going to put in the Discord now. Super late, but live. Did the notification go up? I don't know if the notification is up. Are we, we're, we are live, right? Yes, we are. Please tell me that we are. Hello, N NJB. Okay, yay. That is confirmation enough for me. Hello. I'm waiting for the ping to go on Discord. Is the ping going to happen? Will it? There is no ping. Got it. Oh, hello. Is it weird that I like your bedroom layout? <laughs> that is not weird at all. Although you can see my messiness. This is my side. This is my fiance's side. Um, I put a bit of effort into it. I mean, I love tufted things. So, and it was a big luxury to get this nice, big, tufted, is it what, a headboard? Headboard, something like that. Yeah. And those end tables are measured. They're, they're it, are the bedside tables. They're pretty narrow so that they just barely fit into that spot. So we had to measure that. Uh, most bedside tables are a little bit wider than that. I was wondering why you had two lamps. Yeah, so that one person sleeping on this side has a has a lamp, and then the other person sleeping on the other side also has a lamp. And they're old-fashioned lamps. I think they're from the 70s, where you tap the whole body, and then, yeah. So I turn them on for streaming. No, they're not on all the time. <laughs> I just figure that it's better to have more light in the background than less. Man, to have a low ISO and to have nice crisp camera quality, you have to have a ton of lights. And uh, yeah, th this is much better than it was. Uh, so the reason that I was late to streaming was because I was having an argument with Stefan, who is my fiance. And and I cried a little bit. I'm a little bit red. Um but it is resolved now, feeling better. I was thinking that I was in the middle of it. I'm like, oh my God, this argument has been going on for an hour. We were on the phone, he was away. And uh, like this argument has been going on for an hour. Maybe I should just put, post in the Discord that I'm not gonna stream. And, and, he, and then it kind of resolved. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. Um, my wife gets the lamp, I get the wall. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got the wall. Yeah. In the previous place we lived, I, I had the wall. That is not the fun side, for sure. Is the title referencing what I think it is? I, I would hope so. I, there's only one thing that I think it could be referencing other than maybe I'm annoying. Ha. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, my side is stacked with books. I got an exciting purchase. I got a book light, which may not sound very exciting, but I have like a big stack of books. But what I do is I end up using my e-reader anyway, because it has a light on it. And when it's cold at night, I like to go underneath the blankets and read. And I'm like, hmm, I can't read underneath the blankets with a nice warm dim light. So anyway, I got, I finally got a book light and whoa, it magically has changed everything. Now I will read my books when I was just letting them pile up and not reading them. Yeah. Um, so, uh, today in terms of things in my life, which no one cares about, I tried on wedding dresses. I did that. I went to a place. There was a dresser who, who picked out things for me, and I tried them on. I was by myself. There was no crew of people saying, well, you look so good, but wow, uh, wedding dresses all look so good. I was, 
There were so many things, dresses flying all over the place. And um, I am undecided, very undecided. I don't know whether to go extravagant or modest and simple. Like I have two favorite dresses right now and they're on both extremes. One is modest and simple and the other is just like the biggest, most extravagant ball gown that I could ever think of. And it has lace that goes all the way up to the neck and has like a collar that tightly fits around. Oh, it's so beautiful. But I thought I'm gonna be blushing the entire time I'm wearing this dress because I feel like all eyes will be on me. And, you know, the dresser was like, you're the bride. I'm like, yeah, but that's the thing is I'm scared. And being scared makes me think this has to be the dress, right? If I'm so scared and I think it's so pretty. And the dresses cost about the same. They're like the same price. So like simple or boom. Anyway, I wish I could have taken a picture of it. But I wasn't able to sneak away to do it because they fastened the dress in back, right? And so... I have to leave the dressing room for them to fasten it. And then they take it off before I even get back in the dressing room to take a picture. So I have to go back and try again. I could post some pictures to the Discord of the rejects because I don't want Stefan, who is in the Discord, to sneak in there and see the actual candidates. And, um, you know, the pictures I took were very hasty and they don't look very good. But I can, I can throw some into the Discord. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. There we go. I'm not good with this. I only... Oh, I, I only have two dresses to show. And my pictures are very bad in the mirror. Me trying on wedding dresses today. And I need a, a hand over mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Cause that's how I feel. That is what you use, right? <laughs> hello, Jody. Hello. Now, um, we should vote for the dress. I only posted dresses that I am not getting. As I said, because Stefan is not in the Discord. Um, but I told them I liked the, the ball gown. So most of the things I tried on were had some kind of poo thing at the bottom. I noticed you have pretty eyes. Why, well, thank you. Vengeance play. <laughs> pretty eyes. Um, yeah. You know... I, I can't... <laughs> Who is ever comfortable talking about their own appearance? I don't think I am. My minimalist phone. Yes, I am using my minimalist phone. My favorite minimalist phone app. Which you can't tell. Oh, yeah. Anyway, one of my friends said that she liked the, the top photo that's there. Um, yeah, so that was an experience. I am, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm undecided. I'm not even sure if I'm going to go for something like that or if I'm going to go for something more unconventional. I'm still trying out all the options. There is another place that sells more vintage uh, dresses, and I'm going to give that a try. So... I'm pretty? Wow. Well, boy, thank you. Uh, I can never judge for myself, but thank you if you feel that way. Um, something I, I like to think is I like the way both of my parents look. And so if I like the way both my parents look, then probably I look okay. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and I think everyone should be proud of their parents, right? If anyone feels down on themselves, they just have to think about somebody else that they love a lot to uh, to feel better. Yeah. But I guess features I like about myself the most, I guess it's probably my skin. I think I have pretty good skin. I mean, I, I blemish around here. <laughs> Which, but... 
I feel very fortunate because I don't burn. It's like, it's very fair, like hot, very fair, but it doesn't, I don't get sunburned easily. So I get the best of all worlds. Yeah. What about bridesmaid dresses? Okay, so I don't have a bridesmaid, or, or so far we don't have bridesmaids, um, because I'm doing an Eastern Orthodox style um, wedding. I am Ukrainian. My grandpa's a priest. And so we're doing an Eastern Orthodox style wedding. I mean, an actual Eastern Orthodox wedding. And in an Eastern Orthodox wedding, there is uh, one sponsor each. So it's kind of like a maid of honor and a groomsman. But yeah, so it will be just one person. And I haven't even thought that far. So... I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble because I haven't thought about anything, but I have hired a planner. So I think I'm going a little bit ahead because looking at dresses, I hired a planner while having a first meeting tomorrow with the planner. And I think that they think about dresses. So I don't know. Maybe I've jumped the gun on that. When are you getting married? I almost don't want to say because it's so soon. It's so soon and we plan nothing. But I was told that if we get started now, then we'll be able to make by the date. So our prospective date is May 21st, 20 this year, <laughs> 20 this year. Yeah. Um, and it's a date that was just thrown out there. And it is a little bit like, you know what? You might as well hustle instead of uh, put a long date on it. Because then you'll, then we'll just be hurrying at the last minute anyway. Yikes, soon, right? So um, I've hired a planner and the planner pretty much just said, well, if we start now, we can make it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I've only just barely looked at Pinterest boards and thought about it but the fear is dissipating a little bit just because I am thinking about it a little bit and actually thinking about what I like instead of oh no this is a terrifying thing I don't want to do my wife would have a heart attack really I don't know what see I have this bliss of ignorance because I don't know what all that it entails but you know getting a church wedding like church, the people at the church are like, oh, we have plenty of time. I mean, I don't have to worry about any of the things related to the ceremony itself. That is simple. And in uh, there's no chairs in, in the Orthodox church. People just stand. So um, there's no vows. There's no groomsmen or bridesmaids. Um but everything is very ornate and pretty still. There's crowns though. There's crowns and candles. So we have to pick out, or or we could just use the ones that are at the church for free, but we get crowns and we hold candles and we can get decorative candles that match the crowns. And then we can keep those as keepsakes. And uh, yeah, Stefan wants to be thinking about that because he wants to keep the crowns because he thinks it's a very cool concept. I believe that the idea is that we're martyring ourselves for each other. Like we have a spiritual death and renewal as one. I think that's kind of the essence of the ceremony. Um, Nathan, to be fair, we didn't have a wedding planner and we are not religious, so there was a bit more planning. Not that I knew anything about that. I just needed to make sure I showed up on time. Really? She worried about the entire thing? Ah. Oh. See, I, I, <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, the thing is, um, so Stefan's a wedding videographer. I mean, among other things, he does wedding videography. And he has seen way more weddings than I have. And he has a much better picture of what he wants than I do. Anyway, so the wedding, all of that taken care of. I mean, not all of it. Probably we have to think about flowers and decorations. So there's some, some flowers involved, I think. Something like that. But then from there, we have to think about the reception. So May 21st is a prospective date because we don't have a venue booked yet. And it could be that all of the venues are not available at on that date because it's so early. So we'll see about that. 
I'm worried about the money. Well, I worry about that too. I guess I shouldn't be too worried, but you know, everything costs quite a lot. And I was thinking I was going to do the, the dress on the super cheap. And of course, then I get a fitting and I think maybe not that cheap. <laughs> Who knows? Go all out since they're a similar cost. I know that's an older message, Jared, but. Yeah, should I go for the one that makes me blush and think that's crazy? Or should I go for the one that I look at it and I think that feels like me. I feel good in it. I just feel very comfortable. I, When I look in the mirror, I see myself. But yeah, the similar price tags though, it does make me think, hmm, for a very small difference, I could be making a big splash. So another thing that so Stefan's a kind of theatrical. He has to join me on stream. He's going to join me on stream, I swear. It's very soon. He actually booked it on his calendar that he's going to come to stream. So it will happen. Uh, there was something I was going to say about the wedding. And I've already forgotten it. Oh, well, I guess. Something about extravagance? Um, anyway, looking at Pinterest boards, I've kind, we have both. Oh, right. I said that he has more opinions. What we're going to be doing is a coordinated, this was his, like a very explicit ask that he had. He wants to have a coordinated first dance. I don't know how you feel about this, <laughs> but choreographed, a choreographed first dance. And so anyway, I have contacted a wedding dance choreographer who does ballroom dances and we're gonna have a choreographer's dance um we're gonna i think be meeting him on saturday if uh well i have to check with stefan but we're gonna be meeting with him on saturday to uh begin our choreography for our first dance song oh also hello rakowski in tenem and thunder planes Ricky was scared and we're stuck at the travel agency. Hmm, that sounds so familiar. I feel like I've heard of this before. Can you dance or do you need a choreographer? Well, need is, no, we do not need a choreographer. And it's, it's not a matter of can we or can we not dance. I do not actually know how to do a ballroom dance, but I have taken dance classes in high school and in college for fun. But you know, those kind of dances are not ballroom dances i'm like we, it's more modern dance um we just want to have something that's showy and performative for the day of and on top of that if i'm going to be wearing a big ballroom gown which i might i wonder i'm going to have to ask the choreographer if i'm going to be showing up to dance without a big giant dress should i how do i practice how do I practice without a big giant dress? And also, I don't want him to see it before. Um, anyway, I do think that we need hope because we had never done ballroom dancing before. And we want to woo, uh, have put on a show and make it big and magical. So that, that'll be a big magical moment. All the other details, don't, don't, don't care. Um, anyway, when I was looking at Pinterest and looking at things that both me and him would like, I realize I think that we both like a Victorian antique feel or like a very literary like can like candles and brass holders very uh ornate decorative plates and silverware that kind of thing so those were most of my inspirations that I put up was ornate, elaborate, who knows how it will actually turn out because cost-wise, I don't know that it's very cool, the idea. It makes me think of Harry Potter a little bit and maybe I've been influenced because I've been reading the books. <laughs> I just finished book one and I'm almost at the end of book two and it's been an experience since I haven't read the book since I was 10 years old. Well, you know, the first two books I haven't read since I was 10 years old. 
um, Rakowski, you can go to a thrift store and get a giant ugly dress to practice in. Just get something that no one would want anyway. Oh, I can get a big, I can get a ball. <laughs> I can just get a ball gown to practice in. Just something cheap. Did they age well, the books? Um, oh yeah, definitely. I don't know about age well. I think they age the same. They're kind of timeless. But I have definitely think that I've been influenced by that aesthetic because just thinking about quills and portraits and castles. I think that's been kind of embedded in my brain a little bit. I'm now thinking about castles and quills and I'm going like, I want a big quill for my book. When people come, they're all going to... I'm going to have this just like big, big old book where people will write all their sentiments to me about how they feel about our relationship. I'll have everyone pen a novel to me during the wedding. <laughs> um, honestly, I think that the, the books are masterpieces. Um, is that a bias statement? No, I don't think so. There's so many layers to them. I was just reading people's takes online. There was people have a lot of hateful opinions about Harry Potter. Like, oh, it's stereotypical. Or I don't like that they have a happy ever after. That's unrealistic or something like that. Um It's a uh, you know, classic hero's tale told very well with uh, a lot of layers that make it very enticing. And the friendship between the trio is so heartwarming. It's, it, you know, it is fantasy. I, I think that people can forget that, right? That it's something that cozy you want to live in. Yes. Yes, um, I'm reading them because I am looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy. That is correct. Jared, when I was a kid, I looked similar to Harry Potter. Did you identify with him? I kind of wish I was a Hermione. I wish that I was brilliant like her and as studious as her and as feverish about reading as her. And alas, alas, I am not. People can tell by my style of playing video games that I am not. That I just lack that curiosity of perfectionism. Like, I am so much a good enough person. This is good enough. Maybe I'm more of a... You know what? I think I am more of a Ron. Unfortunately. Or or fortunately. Um, I think I saw them typed in the Enneagram. So Ron has that stigma of feeling overlooked. And like not very sarcastic there's that but yeah he doesn't feel good enough like he'll never he feels like the underdog and I relate to that I probably at heart oh easily if I I identify myself with one of the characters. Oh, but as I'm reading the book I am definitely thinking that what I is even more solidified because people were like, oh, what house are you in? And I said the only correct answer is Gryffindor. Because really in the book, Gryffindor is the main character. And anyone is, is they're the heroes. And anyone in their life, anyone should want to be the protagonist. It's like we're all protagonists of our own life. We're not side characters. Everyone should want to be a Gryffindor. Um, so there is actually, I don't think that the houses were intended for people to actually be sorted into them. That this this is all metaphorical. It's a part of a big story, a big epic. We're not, they're not real students and we're not really being sorted into them. Oh, I hope that I'm not saying anything terrible. Now, this is what I really think. In Slytherin, it's so clear that Slytherin really are the bad guys. They're the people who turn out people from the dark arts. They're like, even, even when, um, they like take the Bollyjuice potion and go in. And then the password was something like, uh, something about mudbloods. 
you know, the, the password is like mudbloods should get kicked out of the school. I don't remember what the password was, but it was something quite horrific. And I thought like z uh, almost zero percent of people would say, I'm a racist. I want to be the racist one. I understand that there's other traits like cunning and blah, blah, blah. Like Stefan would want to be Slytherin because just, and people are drawn to the bad evil aesthetic anyway like oh i want to i want to be in the evil one but it really is the evil one in the books it just is it just is uh i think that that is kind of a spicy take is it not um and you know people say also that ron is hufflepuff-esque or that um Hermione is Ravenclaw-esque or something like that. It, these categories are super loose. Just anyone who is a protagonist, anyone who is brave and good is Gryffindor. It doesn't matter what their other traits are, if they're brainy, if they're nice. If, it doesn't matter. You're Gryffindor. So, but that's just the way the books are. Now, we can look outside of the books and think realistically how would people actually be sorted into these different camps without thinking in terms of good and evil. I think, and I think that is how we're thinking about it in terms of the sorting hat and how people identify themselves. Anyway, rant is over. I've, I've made this rant before. <laughs> um, yeah. They are not necessarily bad, though. They just have traits that could go bad, like sociopaths. And yet, the password can be, like, something like... Can you imagine? I always got Slytherin whenever I took a quiz online. I Yeah, yeah. I think Stefan identifies as a Slytherin if he was going to put himself into a camp. And, um, but I think, you know, I've already said it. I think story-wise, Slytherin, bad. Gryffindor, good. Um, the other two uh, are just side characters in terms of the great epic story. Um. Yeah. But if I were to play Hogwarts Legacy, I would want to be in Ravenclaw. And ooh, their common room looks so cool. So maybe we'll be able to play it one day. If we ever play the game and get through it and get through other things. And and I haven't gotten to crack open Final Fantasy VII again. Oh, I'm just so overwhelmed in my life with the wedding planning and with remodeling my home the all the excuses excuses i know and also reading harry potter but it's been audiobooks mostly i've been cooking so productivity yeah all right i'm pulling up the game it's coming Nathan, maybe the passwords were said a long time ago, kind of like a racist old person who was a product of their time. Oh no, Malfoy are you, was super, super into that. He, yeah, he loved it. <laughs> oh yeah, the game is coming. I know that the screen is black, but it will not be shortly. It keeps getting pushed back. Was it pushed back? Tell me it wasn't. Was it pushed back? Or I'm actually tell me if it was. Because if it was, then maybe I'll have time to play all the games I want to play. You know? Tell me the date that it's going to come out. Oh, yeah. There it is. I'm annoying, huh? Let's just listen to the music for a while. Okay! It was tea time briefly, but now we're going in. Oh, yeah! Ah! Sophie's not here! I need help! Um, 
So we created separate saves because I am aware that there are missable Albed primers. So there was one to the left. We got that one. And now we're going to go in. So I, I need, if you don't know it, I need someone to pull up a guide because it won't be me and know about the Albed primers that we're about to go through or else we're going to be playing this all over again or not or I'll be lazy. So I should not believe Google about February 10th. That's so soon! We have to drop this game and play it! Oh, right. What am I even doing? I think... Oh, I don't have Yuna. That's a shame. Rika's Steel is so important, isn't it? Oh, those X potions. Nice. Oh, this is bad news. If only I had the null fro null something. So Riku has magic now. It's not very strong, but she has it. Oh, but they grow anyway. Hmm. It's a shame that we don't have, um... Well... We're in trouble, aren't we? Like, should Riku use her mix? If I did mix... I have fish scales. Wait a second. I want to use eyes, don't I? And Arctic Wind, I only have... Oh, Arctic Wind? Deals ice damage to an enemy. Why is there... Why are they different? Antarctic wind and Arctic wind. What do I do? I need to bring out the big poster. I'm gonna do that. I don't know. Okay, and they're not dead. That is so terrible. Why is it not dead? In confusion, is it also a terrible thing? A terrible, awful thing I'm quite upset about. Ah! I should have brought someone else in. Woo! Well, this is upsetting. I need bomb cores! It, it, oh, that Guado is just very, very threatened by Lulu. How many battles like this are we gonna do? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Lulu can just stay like that. Totally fine. Because we need to get her hits in, you know? Ooh, Tita's so strong! <gasps> Look, they're. Oh, both of them are, are super close to dead. Yeah. We can get Waka in. Waka can do one. Whoa! That was a lot of damage. Waka is, is super powerful. And, uh, yeah, Kamari's doing good, too. Kamari's good, boy. Whoa! One battle done! Uh, Alright, we can end the stream now. Sounds good to me. Well, I did not do what, uh, Shan? Is it Shan? Shan Ming? What you suggested. We did okay, though. This is terrible. What are those Guado thinking? I don't know. Who is my favorite character to play in character in terms of personality? Yuna! Thousand percent! I want to be Yuna. Yuna is me, and I am Yuna. Um, we barely walked anywhere. I kind of want to just, like... Can we go back? Let's go back. This is back, right? She said, follow me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't a random encounter. That just, that battle happened, didn't it? Just walk back. Walk. You know. Yeah, see? Okay. Um... 
I just gotta make sure. All bed primers. I wanna go over here. No all bed primers, to my knowledge. You need to tell me. Oh, is this one? Is there one over here? No, there isn't. Okay. I don't see one. It's a little spooky, you know? What if I missed it? What if it's over? You read me. You go under. Oh no. What do you say? We have to get underground. Ah. Uh -huh. Where's Yuna? The Summoner Sanctum. This way. We're going to the Summoner Sanctum. I wonder what's gonna happen there. Shan, for future reference, Lulu, Orin, and Titus will be your beat fighters. The game naturally sets you up that way. Just make sure you don't neglect to use the others so they get experience as well. Well, did you think I would was gonna neglect the others? Yeah. No more Albed primers till the airship? What? I believe I heard that there was more. I thought that there was more Albed primers. Hold on. I gotta look this up. Uh, I wanna be sure. La la la. <laughs> uh, it just jumped past, I think. I'll bed home. Okay, I got the two in the desert. No, there are three in I'll bed home. There's a... Let's see. Okay, I got that one. I got the first one. No. There is definitely two more that I need to get. Now, looking at the pictures, I cannot necessarily tell. Um, I... Yeah, I believe that there are two more to find here. And that they're missable. Um, anyway, I'll go, uh, do a Dark Buster. Hello, Antonio. I started jujitsu. I want to shoot a martial art movie. Wow. Wait. Oh, Lulu got confused real fast. Hold on. Uh, did I, I was able to make that thing, well, I was able to make that thing have darkness on it. Do I have... I don't have a dark buster, but I can do a dark attack on the other thing. Which maybe I could have done silence. Hey! Lulu! That thing just loves, loves to confuse Lulu. She might as well just keep Lulu in the party so that the Guado only focuses on her. Silence the Guado? Sounds like a good idea. I should do that. Um, Kamari can do some silencing, I believe. Kamari, you're here. I could put Waka doing that, too. Yeah, now we're doing great. And I think I'm gonna keep Lulu confused. It's just the way it is. Um, we'll continue to steal. Does that... Oh, the Guado is silenced now, so it's not going to do anything to me, huh? Oh, that was an accident. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. I meant I'm going to steal from the other one. Yeah, I should have thought of the silencing. I don't know why I don't think of these things. All right, let's do the overdrive um, in Dread It. I won't think too much about it. How's that? I'll just go la la la. Yellow. Red. Oh wait, I don't know what I was thinking there. I forgot <laughs> what the element I was aiming for was. 
<laughs> Riku is not doing too good. Oh, I would be in a lot of trouble if they get Waka. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. oh! Oh no. Oh no! This is so bad! <laughs> well, Riku could use the potion. Um. I like don't know what to do other than give myself like a high potion. Yeah, that went bad quickly, I agree. I thought I had such an advantage, but uh, no. Um, I'm gonna use one of my all bed um, potions. <laughs> Riku's doing fine. I mean, not Riku, but Lulu. I wish the all bed just cured confusion. That would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, Going back to silence. And we'll get Kamari in to do more darkness. And it'll be okay, right? Everything will be okay. But, you know, reusing, I guess, the old strategies. I would appreciate not telling me what to do. <laughs> um, or or backseating in that way. If it's a missable, if it's like, Miranda, you're gonna miss an Elved and you're gonna move on to the next cutscene. But just overall telling me what move to make. Um, I wanna play the game. Anyway, I, di I, I did not mean to silence the thing. It's okay! You know, my focus is a little scattered. Anyway, Rakowski, wherever I remember my abilities, my enemy is immune. Yeah, I, I feel the same way too. A lot of enemies are immune. Oh my goodness. It's okay. We're all good here. I, I bet silence just... Oh, I use silence buster too, and that only goes for like one turn. I believe, so... Next time I'll just do a sil regular silence. Uh, Shan, I... I, <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm not gonna respond to any of those messages like use remedy or take out the guado i i i'm <laughs> yeah um uh, let's see i'm just gonna do a regular silence attack on the guado i know that i can use a remedy on lulu i just don't have very many remedies and i don't think i i heard from one of the streamers that there was a place to grind and get more, but I haven't gotten more, you know? Oh, this one's almost done. And this one doesn't have darkness. It says right there to inflict darkness on it when I inspect it. Oh, Kamari. Ooh, it's rough. Um, but we're pretty much there. This one will take it out, I think. Hello, Desickable Me! Yes, I do enjoy the chocobo soup. Anyway, I... I am risky. I am wild. I'll have Orin. I mean, I should have done this right at the beginning, but do a power break. It's okay. Anyway, I'm... I'm Lulu is just gonna be... Just... It just is out. I know it's a, a big loss. But I think it's okay. I'll get remedies later in the game. Um... <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I've played this game before. <laughs> I don't need to. Um... Larry, poor Lulu, that Teddy seems vicious. 
I know, Lulu's suffering so much. It's, it's okay. You know, the thing is, like, even if I play this game badly, we still do fine. We'll still get through it. Which, I mean, I don't think it's badly in the first place anyway. Um, maybe slowly? It could always be better strategically. So, like, even with Lulu down, we were fine. Over here. Although, I guess they used a handful of uh, Phoenix Downs. Um, alright, so... I know that there's missables, I just don't know where they are. So, it, I, I have to walk down. Is it, maybe it is on my way out? We'll see. Oh, there's a spot here. Uh, we'll take a look. <laughs> Larry, not a fan of that Waka guy, personally. No? Ooh, I'm so tempted to do the slice and dice. Right now. Ah, you know what? It's whatever, I'll do it. Check this out. Hold on. <laughs> Shan, I'm gonna have to time you out. <laughs> it's not personal. It's just, it, it's just, it, don't backseat like that. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would it be right to assume 10 is your favorite one? My favorite game ever? Yes, you would be completely correct to think that. Though, Favorite game? Yeah, as the thing is, I talked about this before. Replaying games, I haven't done much, so I've probably played Final Fantasy all the way through. All, and I mean all the way through, from beginning to end, from de defeating Sin. I have replayed it in, in parts, but probably two times. One time when I played the game initially, and then one time when the remaster came out. So... It's still so new in a way, but I've watched rewatched the story many times and I've read a lot about it. And then doing the YouTube videos and then the blog posts. Yeah. I think it is the correct assumption though, because it's the story I'm, I'm most obsessed with. Yeah. Uh Yeah, Lulu's health, not great. Well, it was a lot of attacking that was done. Oh yeah, and I didn't heal anyone in between, so that's rough. And, oh, and I... Do I need to steal? Oh, hold on. I'll just use an Albed potion. Nathan, same as me. I didn't fully grasp it when I was younger, so playing it again when older was enlightening. So, uh, how old are you, Nathan? You may have told me before. When you first played it. I was at a good age. I was 14 when I first played it. Um, alright. So those things... I'm gonna do a magic break on them. Pitch of mid-battle. Oh, this is great! I love orange touch! Like, I just... I don't even have to worry about anything, do I? I shouldn't worry about anything. No. Orin can just handle it all. <gasps> yes! And I don't even use tents uh, in Final Fantasy VII yet. I haven't used a tent once. How often will I get into the habit of using tents? I don't know what the weakness is. I'll just use Lazara because 
Although I guess I could take out the guado. I was told to take out the guado first. Hmm. Okay, we're good. I think. Uh, Orin's moves, though. Orin can just handle it all. I now know this. I forget about his... Th that's just crazy. The stone touch? It's just a one-hit kill? Oh, right. Okay, so there's more Albed potions. I'm gonna turn off enemy encounters. And, oh yes, and I will remember to heal myself with all my potions. All right, we're good. Nathan, at some point in the open world, you can get pretty drained in seven, so tents are handy. Okay. But by the way, I love that series you're doing on 7. No pressure or anything. But thank you! Um, and also thanks for the no pressure because I've been feeling so guilty about being so slow. So I'm walking in this direction. I don't want to go the, you know, the correct way. Oh, there's something right here according to the map. Which is probably handy. No, not that way. I don't care, Riku! Oh, perfect. This is where we needed to go. Not that way! <sighs> We're doing this again now. How is Waka's MP? It's, um, uh, you know, not, not the worst thing ever. Well, we now know that Orin can just take them out, so maybe I shouldn't sweat it. We did not, we were not able to get the silence, so. So, uh, tell me more about what you like about the Final Fantasy VII series. Because it's so, um, minimal, you know? Ah, uh, no! Uh, Lulu's gone. According to me. Anyway. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's good. No issues here. Um. We might as well just oh get three Arctic winds, which is actually pretty great. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna work. I thought we were going to touch and then win. Um, so I think I'll do a delay attack. That would be nice. Ooh, it just slides back. What happens if you get the primers? Well, then we learn Albed! And we become an Albed master. Um, yeah. Uh, well, so I already did the... I'll, I'll just attack again. We'll see if I can ever get the stone again. Ooh! It's okay, so half magic. It does take a significant amount more damage, so I'm gonna put slow on it. Hopefully, that'll help me out. <sighs> and then we haven't had Kamari, so it's doing physical attacks. Maybe it'll do a dark. Come on, Orin, just get it! Orin doesn't want to get it! We're okay. Anyway. Oh, so Nathan, it is great seeing a modern take on the game from a blind playthrough. I love hearing your theories about it and the female characters and how you feel they are portrayed. <laughs> There's not much to go on. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it. We didn't even have to worry about doing all of that damage to it. Okay. 
I'm annoying, huh? <laughs> And yeah, I was impressed that I was able to record that video after not playing the game for a week. I, um, it is a bit of work, even though it doesn't feel like it is also, because I'm like, I'm just talking about my thoughts. But just in terms of the note taking, I'm going, I have to write down every single thing that happens or I'm not going to remember. Use previously saved Albed primers. Oh, this is a compilation sphere. That's nice. Oh, yeah, here's the password thing. And I can't read it. The first, well, hold on. Can I exit out of this? Okay. Are you Albed? Say, 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 no, yes. Well, I'm not an Albed. Yes. Name the son of the Albed leader, brother. <laughs> I'm get, taking a quiz. Ah, uh, I'm sorry about the video connection continuing the drop. Nathan, I said in a comment that when you look back on those theories, you will find them amusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is why doing a blind playthrough is so good. But I feel a lot of shame doing a blind playthrough live because I feel so embarrassed and I also like... You know, people feel so smart, I feel like, when they know the answer. Or it can be frustrating for the other person. So for me to play the game and for the other person to know, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Because I'm discovering for the first time. It's still in this game, too, of course. Yeah, so I don't, like, love that. Um, on what island do the Albed live? Beacon L Island. Um, what is Albed in Albed? Oh, that's a funny question. That's funny. I think Albed. It's also showing it in red, so it's Albed. There we go! We got a skill sphere. That's pretty cool. I wonder... Hmm, in that screenshot I was looking at of the Albed primers... Um, it's, there's two chests, but it doesn't look like this room. Okay, so the first is four, four plus one. Oh, the first is four plus one, so it's five. Okay. The second digit, oh, it's digit is seven minus one, so it's six. I mean, yes, it's six. The third digit is three times one, so it's three. And then the fourth digit is two plus one. Boom, it's actually not hard. <laughs> but you would have no idea if you knew no Albed, right? That would be pretty impossible. We got the special sphere. Did it! Winning! Um, so I'm healed, and that's good. I'm a little bit- Oh, there is a save sphere right there. I'm just con concerned about saving. I'll turn off. I'll put the enemy encounters back on right after this. Oh, wait. Ooh. I didn't make another save, so I would have to go back pretty far if I, like, miss something. I don't want to miss anything! I'm gonna make another save from here. I'm just concerned, you know? I'm like... It's... No, not that way. Oh, wait! Oh, there we go! Yeah, yeah, yeah! 
Ah! Shan! <laughs> Look, no, no, no. Y y you can't just keep telling me stuff like this, as I said. Nah, I, like, look, as I said, no backseating. I've already timed you out, so I don't know what to do. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll zip it. <laughs> Wait, thank you. I appreciate no, no backseating. Oh, in that, uh, to that extreme. Anyway, thank you. Um, Nathan, this is re relaxing to watch. Usually not awake at this time and have work in two hours. Wait. How long am I streaming? Well, I ended up streaming late. I started to stream late. But I typically stream at, as it has been. I stream till 10.30 my time. So I typically stream three to three and a half hours. So from 10... Or not from 10. From 7 to 10.30, so three and a half hours. But I started like an hour late. So it may only end up being a two-hour stream today. And it, we've been here for an hour. So maybe another hour. It won't be much time, unfortunately. <laughs> Was there immunity on that thing? Um... All right, we're back to this. I should, I feel like I should rely on the, uh-oh. Oh, uh, wait, okay, wait, Riku will steal first. It's 5 a.m. where I am? Wow, Nathan. And you work in two hours? <laughs> Have you stayed up all night or did you just wake up really early? I, I, I cannot fathom it. Um, yeah. Sorry, not doing too hot very quickly. Um, yeah, walk his overdrive mode makes him get to the overdrive pretty quickly. Hello! Depper? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Depper Gaming? Hello! I have stolen. I have already stolen. Should I be concerned? I have all that potions. Riku is the healer right now, I guess. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Oh, yeah, I will, uh, uh oh, that was an accident. Ah! <laughs> no! Um, just recently discovered your channel and I'm in love with ten your 10 content. Thank you! Greetings from Brazil. Hello, greetings. I thank you so much. And uh, who doesn't love talking about Final Fantasy X? I love talking about Final Fantasy X as much as I can. Has the power breaks worked? Have I done the power breaks on both of them? Oh. I'll, um... Go ahead with an Albed potion. Because we have a Pementi, even if maybe we don't truly need it. <sighs> Kamari could use it. I know, I'm not focusing my energy on one particular enemy, which is not great. very close to an overdrive. I don't know. I don't know. What? What? Tara? Waka's overdrives could be so useful. Actually, too useful, not gonna lie. If we get the overdrives right. Or, or if we get more of them, maybe. I just wanna be done. Done with you. Okay, we're done with you. Okay. I mean, the Gato out of all of them is fairly easy to get. And we got 
We got the darkness on both of them. Uh, who has the sensor? I yeah we. I think, I think doing darkness again elongates the darkness. Oh, Shan always hated Waka and Lulu's overdrives. Well, Lulu's is okay. It's not fantastic. I don't know why Orin isn't petrifying them. Orin should be petrifying them! Just easy! I don't know if everyone got a hit in. I think Titus needs to come and get a hit. You know, everyone needs to. <laughs> it sounds like it's doing drugs. Everyone needs a hit in this game! Oh, and we're done. I have likened it to Murder on the Orient Express. Everyone needs to get a little stabby in. Although I guess those are spoilers. There's an Elbad Primer! Oh, we're now a uh, Albed Hydeha. <laughs> Which I assume translates to Master. I assume each one translates into Master. Why doesn't it just tell me what it means? I'm never gonna know what it is. I'm using all my potions. It's okay. Potions are cheap, right? I'm annoying, huh? Enter the password. Sorry. Well, by process of elimination, this would probably say sorry. Wait. What? Oh, this is probably wait. Pardon. Whoa! Well, okay, I know what P is. So this is pardon. Whoa. We did it! We got the friend sphere! Friends! Friendship! Finally, at last. I don't remember doing this. I'm glad what we got the primer. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they all need a hit. All my favorite streamers play so late for me. Yeah, well, it's pretty hard just with life. Um, I play after work, you know. I have my nine to five job, and then after, and then after my nine to five, I typically have dinner or or whatever wind down activity I do, and then I stream for the rest of the night. Uh, so it's hard to fit it in. Okay, the treasure chest of dreams. What do... I don't know what that last word is. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> es, esja, well, um... What? Let's see. What do I contain? Huh. Treasure chest of dreams. I can't figure out what the word is! <laughs> It has to be connected to these things like elixir, bomb, mega potion, remedy. Um, Chimera, high potion. I don't get the puzzle. Uh. Ah! <laughs> uh, hmm. 
Have I played a lot of Final Fantasy games? Oh, that sounds like a hint. Um, <laughs> it, it, is that a hint toward answering this question? Um, no, I haven't played a lot of Final Fantasy games. I, you know, I... Unless you're talking about Final Fantasy VII. And not related to this puzzle that I don't know the answer to. Um, I played some of the... I've played some... Like, I just haven't finished most games. The only game that I've actually finished is 15. I've played the Tactics games. Not the one that was for the PSP that was recommended in the... Yeah. I'm annoying, ha! Huh? Hello, Scott. You can hear it, can't you? There's no wrong answer? <gasps> oh, the treasure chest of dreams! Oh, do I want a Chimera? Oh, I see. So I don't want a high potion or a soft. A mega potion, probably. But a p Or an elixir. What is more valuable, an elixir or a... I'll get a mega potion. I don't, you know, I didn't think too hard about that. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, we did that. We got that one, um, I'll bed. And, um, now what? <laughs> um... The, we, uh, let's see. We, I got one of the primers that we need. And then the final one looks like it's at the end of a corridor. So this may be... It may be this moment here. Oh, we can walk all the way back. Well, that's pretty cool. Look, we can save here. That's pretty cool. Yes, um, I am in California, which makes my time zone very not nice for most people. It is very unfortunate. Okay, so at the end of a corridor is another um, Alved primer. I don't want to miss it. Like, is this something that I can miss now? Because, um, yeah, it looks like it is against a wall where there's doors. And, you know, hmm. it would probably be right here. Oh, found it! Woo! Done! Oh, I'm so relieved. I think we got them all. Okay, we're we're doing great. Okay, I, I'm turning off enemy encounters, and then, uh, uh, and then we can go forward from here. What a relief uh, that I did not move forward. I had this intuition. Twenty-one so far. Only five more. Did we get twenty-one? Are 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 we? Uh, did we? I don't. We could have missed some. This place done for. We're in a great place right now with the Alved right. language. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We, we weren't always like this. Yes, Soon I did not get around the me. island, where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered, to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the all bed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. But now. Why do things have to turn out this way? Riku! Damn those guano! What are they thinking? This is where he has his change of heart. Where now he can just put all of his anger instead of to the Albed to the guano. And he is completely justified. And now everyone's happy about that. Okay. Oh, I should have, um. Chill! There's no rush. I should have probably done something to the, you know, to the grid. Maybe we should have walked along the grid somewhat. Ah, oh, we're okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Silence attack. 
Or we don't get silence and... Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! At least they're slow! <laughs> Should have thought of that earlier. Uh-oh, hope you didn't miss any! Oh yeah, well, you know. I was paranoid about not missing them during this part because I was told that they were quite missable. So, but I have not, you know, been looking them up or anything. Except for this time. Riku! I need you to steely steal! Shaky shape your way on up there! No, uh, yeah, it, so... What would be an ideal time for people? <laughs> Not like I can be realistic, but if I was on the weekends, of course I could do it earlier. Um, but you know, having a 9 to 5, it does make it a challenge. I stream at 6 a.m. my time, which would be perfect for you. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? Um, Oh, when I get to the, uh, when I get to the ship? How do I donate? Um, well, you can, if you want. I have a donation link in my, that's interesting, in my, um, in my Twitch. But, you know, I'm not monetized on YouTube yet, so I haven't put much thought toward that. But thank you. What you can do is you can help me get more subscribers. And then when we hit a thousand subscribers, <laughs> that just sounds wrong. Then when we hit a thousand subscribers, then I, I still will not be monetized. I will need to have 4,000 hours of watch time. But I think that the thousand subscribers will be harder than the 4,000 hours because I believe that these streams count toward that time. So that's nice. And then you can do it through the YouTube platform, I think. Um, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> you have distracted me! Uh, well, okay, so basically what um, I'm doing is with the stone touch trying to get Oren to take care of everyone else. Which is working swimmingly. Um, oh yeah, Titus already got his uh, hit in. Or already got... Already got it in, and so now everyone has had a turn. Good job! Um, I probably won't get a notification, though. I have notifications set up on Twitch if you were to donate. And so I could go, yay! Um, oh yeah, I was reading your messages. Um... I can never do YouTube as a full-time job or even as a hobby. Too much demand from other people. You think so? Have you have you tried it before? And because it sounds like you know from personal experience. So I'm I can walk back still, right? No, I can't. All right. We're we're there. I walked down the steps and I know what will happen. Look, they're all waiting for me. Look at them. They're ready. Okay. I want to do this, though. I'm delaying. Oh, I should have moved one more step. It's okay. What a waste, huh? Oh, yeah. I messed up on Lulu's last time. I felt really sad. I almost reset the game. Because I went in the direction I didn't want to go in. Sorry, I don't use Twitch as it got hacked on it. Some guy reversed Robin Hood me. Oh no! I'm annoying, huh? Do you think I'm annoying? Do you think that's what I'm saying? I'm annoying. Armor break? Oh, I love that. Come on, Lulu, get a move on. Could they remake 10, do you think? No, not me annoying. <laughs> I wonder what is annoying. Hmm. 
could be this background music, you know? I, I don't think that they would remake 10 because I think that 10 holds up pretty well. Then again, I could be wrong. I, it feels still fairly... It feels modern enough to where they don't have to do that. I think that they would sooner make a 10-3 because they keep mentioning it. I know in comment sec in the comments, I have gotten people saying, who really knows? Which is a pretty fair and valid point. But I think that it is also fair, actually valid, to um, weigh what the developers actually say about their intentions. And they really continually keep saying in interviews that they want to make a 10-3. So what should I believe? That there is... That anything can happen or that they're going to make a 10-3 over making a remake? What do you think? Ooh, Rakowski has a hot take! Well, it's not very hot. I, I think it's... You know, playing video games. YouTube is the most fun way I've made money, personally. Yeah, I find streaming... I mean, it depends on the day. But I find streaming very, very fun. But, you know, I don't stream a lot. I was doing it three days a week um, when I started. And that was probably too too frequent for me and I have considered going back to three days a week uh, but if I did do three days a week I I think that I would probably struggle with putting out videos oh, which direction am I going in oh wait all right I'm going I see I'm going back down into Riku's grid that was my intention here and so I have two ways I can go. Um, let's see. What are the ways I can go? So Riku can go over here. Which will bring me back into Lulu's grid. Which actually that's pretty cool. Um... With a level three and then a level one. Oh, I think that would be kind of hard to do that through a level three. Um, so I guess that would probably be going forward, wouldn't it? Well, I want to get the mug. I'll go in that direction. But there's all this magic stuff over here! Two points of magic! Ah! It's okay. It's okay. I'm choosing a direction. Why don't you commit to two days and do extra streams when it takes your fancy? Uh, yeah, that is what I have done. I have done extra streams. Though, I have set the intention of doing extra streams and then... I often don't do extra streams. I thought that I was going to do way more extra streams in December because I had a lot of time off. And uh, and then it didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, I sometimes do extra streams. But yeah, that that is my schedule, is two days a week and maybe more, but I really, really try to stick to the two days. Even today, being an hour late, I still stuck to it because it's, pretty sacred even if i'm late i am t i am often late but at least i do it i am i make it i make it here okay i did that for no reason because all the fights are over Riku, i think what is the summoner's sanctum i just was delaying the, the epic summoner's moment sanctum is where we keep the summoners we keep them safe there you kidnapped them i know it's against the teachings and all that I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? Oh, here we are! I mean, if the summoners don't do their job... Who will be sin? You want to protect them, I know. But guardians are there for that. 
If guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right? I know this is deep and sad, but I hear the background. It's quiet. Kimari goes now. Riku is brave enough to face him. Riku is the best. Oh wait, no she isn't. <laughs> Hello enough, Reggie. Yes! Yuna, please be here! Wow, Titus was super rejected! You know, that is a level of denial. Everyone in slow motion just walking out on you, isn't it? I would feel really rejected right in that moment. Like, what is wrong? Oh! There's no Alved primers. Oh, but there is a chest. Level four! Key sphere! I guess the key spheres are coming, as you said. Oh, level two! Yeah. She's gonna be ready to hop back into Lulu's uh, dress sphere super quick. Not dress sphere. This is not ten two. <laughs> That's true. You know stuff's going down when everyone leaves you in sad slow mo. Yuna. Yuni. She didn't say it. Look, it's all She's the summoners that we know of. I guess they're all the summoners in existence. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. That's very sweet. They respect their kidnappers. Is this what you call Stockholm Syndrome? Hey, um, what sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. He's so stubborn. I couldn't. They trust guardians to protect the summoners. The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. He's still on about no, this! They just have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin... <laughs> That's true, they protect them. They might defeat Sin. Yuni could... But then she... Yuni will die, you know? What? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. <laughs> if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? She is quite distressed. But she said it! Braver than everyone else. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reggie, that you had to see it this Tell way. Why. why were you hiding it? Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. It was just too hard to say. They were hiding it! They just walked away in slow motion! They were hiding it. Ah! It's still there. That I'm annoying, huh? Oh. How could you? How could you? Isn't she like a sister to you? I thought you were family. Why don't you do something, Waka? <laughs> Waka just looking down. Don't you think we tried to stop her? She follows her heart. Yuna, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. I think it is reasonable for him to act this way. But 
But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? Non- Oh no, I don't want to think about that. He, got, he is really attached to Yuna. But that is our choice. Who wouldn't be? Anyone who doesn't love Yuna. A world without sin. That is the it's dream seriously disturbed. of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. A good thing that the summoners were there to give their peace. Now he gets to go. Oh! I've been telling Yuna. He's beating up Balafor. Let's beat Sin. I told her all the things. What did Balafor do to you? Good. And all along, the whole time, I didn't know anything. But Yuna, she. She'd just smile. Uh, I need to make a video on just the crybaby issue because it upsets me. Anyone calling him a crybaby? No. Valafor is so sweet. Valafor is going to come back again so soon, too. Valifor is the main is the protagonist hey, of the Aeons. <gasps> I remember this. Do you? You got pretty good. It's true. You sound sad. We're all crybabies yeah, inside. Maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's gonna help this time. Titus is in touch with his feelings. You know what? Hmm? Everyone should be aspire to be more like him. It's embarrassing to say this myself. <laughs> but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm distracted by the crybaby stuff. I'm just thinking I have to make a video on this whole topic because it's just so upsetting to me. I there's um whatever how you feel about feminist thought, there is a vein of thought that is we shouldn't shame men for expressing their feelings, right? And this idea of that we shame men and boys for crying or being upset, but the same people who typically preach that rhetoric are hypocrites. Because, because when you see it, you, a lot of people see it and then they immediately just don't have sympathy. That they just think, oh man, that, uh, that puts me off. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm like, what's well, your problem? Not his problem. That you're uncomfortable. That's what I think. <laughs> I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. We've seen this already. <laughs> let's see what you can do. But it's not just that. We've seen his dreams and we, s we have seen hit, hit the shaming and we have seen how vulnerable and how it's such a weak spot for him to be called a crybaby so he like the fact that we see his dreams and we know how insecure he is and for people to still go like he's kind of whiny is like don't you feel for him though they knew how good of a scene it was that's right the scene is ret is returning and it's not cringe oh man well, maybe it is cringe, but it's wonderful, and I like the scene. I want my journey to be full of laughter. <laughs> Arts Monty, I think he cried like here after fighting Jet and when he goes away. He really isn't a crybaby. 
I just don't... Well, it's also hard for me to see it. He is so strong. He's... I, um... Very worthy of being a protagonist. I can't let her die. He is so giving. I'll find her. We're here. Now we leave. It's not the voice acting either, I think. I mean, you can say it's maybe there was some voice direction involved, but I don't think that the voice acting is bad too. And yeah, there was technical limitations as well in terms of just the pauses. Um, we talked about it last stream that the lip flapping, you know, they had to match. And uh, after Final Fantasy 13, right? Then uh, they now have the lips match in English so that the voice actors don't have to watch. That's why there's so many pregnant pauses in the game and why the timing is so awkward. Um, also, the way the, the thing is taped, I believe that they technically had to match the pacing or the, the sound clip exactly, which is why some of the audio clips are sped up. Uh, excuse me if, I, like, I guess, pardon me. I don't know how to say it. Uh, if I said something you already knew. You're, because... You know, you may have already known it, but I'm saying it anyway. Okay, I, I, I found monies. But yeah, it's not completely at the blame of the voice. Uh-oh, was there a chest right there? At the voice actor. Can I walk back? I wanted to walk back! Hopefully I didn't miss something crucial. I doubt it. Go, go, go! Three minute left! <gasps> Look, whole words! Reno, Reno. We reach a one minute! Wow, we yes, can practically Yoda. read the whole thing. As you know how you put? As you know how you major? I said, where is she? Woo! Answer me, answer me, damn you! Woo! He's strong, really What good do you that. do when you find her, eh? He he he. Sid. I... I, I didn't know anything about what a summoner is is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry. Sid's response is perfect, you're too. You're going to tell her you're sorry. And then you just drag her to Zanuck and, and make her fight Sheen, huh? Mm-hmm. You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace. Wow. No. He, he flipped him over. That was pretty cool. What uh, a fight. Words. Show me action. Sid is I'm a good you, man. She won't die. Boy, don't forget those words. You think words. he changed in 10 2? Because if you do. I'm going to make you regret it. Well, beefy dad, huh? I won't. So you know where she is? Of course not. That's why we're going to look. Using this airship. I, I don't think we've used this technology uh, ever again, it? have we? Oh, wait, no, we have. We do. I think we do. Be done. Make to do coup. Ready to go! Overdue! A flight 1,000 years overdue! Was blowing up a home 1,000 years overdue? Well, I guess what he means is that this ship hasn't flown in a 1,000 years, right? They brought it there, fixed it up, and now it's shiny and brand new. I think I read something in the Ultimania about the colors. Mm, I don't remember.
I think that the Elevator are ingenious for figuring things out as they go. That's my whole life! That's everyone's life! And they do just fine. It's very well designed, obviously. They enunciate so clearly. What's going on? Even the Elbed are fond of the hymn, even as non Yevonites. How? With one of the forbidden Makina. They go! Ida! Fire! Cool being able to read the Albed. <gasps> Why is brother crying? What a baby! Hey, look, don't get so down. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? You can cram your happy festival, you big meanie. Cause that was his only home? Yes, exactly, Sean! But wouldn't you call him a crybaby? Like Titus? Titus has every right to be sad too. Oh, um, to the messages, I wasn't at that age. I learned to just go, let it go early in life. I guess what I have to say is good for you. I mean, everyone's different. It is, um, it is an entire journey to learn that people are uh, handle things differently, in that Titus is naturally more volatile, and you know, um, I think, right, the big five personality. What, people have different ideas about nature versus nurture, right? And I, I lean a little bit, probably more toward the nature side of it than people currently because i the nature versus nurture is a very politicized topic and i think that it currently is leaned very heavily toward nurture like thinking that we can conquer everything just through how we raise children i don't believe that is true um you know because there are we have mapped um genes to our personality traits so to like the big five so we know our propensity towards certain areas and we are born more naturally to be optimist or pessimist more naturally to be more emotionally volatile or less and so to be 17 and to go like well i was emotionally stable it's like well that doesn't mean that everyone should be to that standard um because people, some people are born more naturally, more volatile, which, but that gives them certain other characteristics that are, that we need in a tribalist world where we have to survive. So somebody who is more volatile emotionally is more, typically more, they worry more and they're more able to see bad things coming, um, as an example. I think nature and nurture work in tandem. Yes, of course I do. I agree, but it's just like, which ones do you weigh more than the other? Of course they both 
work together. And, you know, this idea of epigenetics is a big piece of that, too. Like, what comes out in our expression of ourselves is so much based in nurture. Um, but we know so much about, how, like, a child, if you watch a toddler, a child's personality is so, like, you can feel that that person is them when when they're growing up, that they have this essence of their themness that that feels like that. There, there's something innate about that personality um, with, of course, some fluidity. But me, for example, being so deeply introverted, I would never probably be an extreme, extremely extroverted in my life, no matter what nurture happened. Um, and I think that I'm naturally not very volatile myself. I mean, but it's a spectrum. Uh, I, but I think I'm a born kind of optimist. And my energy that comes across on stream, I think, is a little bit about... It's a, it's a bit... I think it is my most natural self. Um, or I, I would hope. Anyway, rant's over. I can go back to the game. Um, Rakowski. You are not responsible for the hand you dealt, but you are responsible for how you play your cards. Yes, exactly. And people can play their cards very well. I think I've I've heard that just recently. Very recently, because I, I like to listen to... I was just listening to a talk on genetics. Because um, in, I've heard that in the genetic lottery, in terms of health defects, they, you can get dealt a bad hand, but you can still play it well. I think that in terms of the nature-nurture, I think scientists feel that it is mostly nurture, mostly how you take care of yourself that affects uh, your quality of life in terms of health. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. And... What cards you know that you even have can come through nurture too. I, it's so crazy. It, it, raising a dog also it shapes a little bit of my experience. I know people are so much more fluid than dogs, but to see her just fully formed her, and it's like, how much have I influenced her? I know I've influenced her some in that, sh in how comfortable she is. But, I yeah, there's there's. <laughs> so much ingrained in her. All right. Having a puppy. I'm okay. I'm fine. Really. Ah, poor Riku. We're on the ship. I think I got everything, but given a new save anyway, but just because how many saves do we have at this point? Am I killing my computer? This is tough on all of us. Lulu, that's not a good thing to say to Riku. Please don't say that to Riku. That would be very upsetting. Brother, how are you doing? Leave me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I, I wasn't able to read that. Poor brother. I just shut my big mouth. Ah, Waka. I, uh, that's so cute. The shame. All right, where's Rin? Rin. The price for protecting summoners. Uh, Rin isn't in the airship until later, right? Yeah, we just have our summoners here. Come, Mari! Well, Kamari, everyone respects the Albed now. Hey, I'm not looking forward to my brother dying when this is all over. If only there was some way of doing it without anyone dying. Let's think of one. Yeah. Easier said than done. You know, I did talk about Titus being more volatile, world, but he's yeah, also very optimistic. And while we were thinking, sin would kill us all. He is deep into his Spiro feelings. Doesn't have that time. I think he is. We owe our lives to the Albed. He's very inventive. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. There's a naivete that fine. needs to be there in order to stop I've the known final summoning. Since I was a child, my will is set. If I do not do it, someone else must, you understand. Yes! 
I do know that, Kam oh, well, I, I remember that Kamari and Waka are voiced by DiMaggio. I'm amazed. It must be sacrilege to think so highly of a Makina. I feel uneasy just riding it. <laughs> That's just how it's you were raised to think. Motion sickness. What infirmity is <gasps> that? What is motion sickness? That's pretty funny. I get, I've never seen that dialogue, I think. Let him rest. What if Posse has motion sickness? I believe I do not have motion sickness. I have never had motion sickness in my life. I feel quite proud of that. I think well, I've said well. it before, and so now I feel ashamed that I said it before. Escaped, Hob. You were on the ship too? But speaking of genetics. I came to home to pick up some goods and found myself here. At least according to my 23 and me, it says I'm likely to have motion sickness. <sighs> But I don't have motion sickness, and neither does my brother, and neither do my parents, so... Please let me know if you need any of my wares. Anyway, it is Rin! Hi, Rin! Hello, Tom Kenny! My favorite! We can get the Seeker Shield! I don't care. I don't, I don't care about your wares. Not really. Thank you. Uh, maybe All I'll closing. look at your other wares. May I help you? What are your items? I miss a Waka! Power distiller. Grenades. Maps. We need these so much. I don't have much of these. Um. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Your patronage is very much appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, can we... We can walk all the way through the ship? I guess so. Well, that's nice. Poor child, he does not understand that our home is no more. Oh. Hello, poor child. Am I going to be doing any of the side quests? Um, if by side quest, do you, uh, I don't know what you mean by side quests. I will do what I feel like doing when I'm doing it, but I'm not, like, aiming for some kind of completionist thing. Lose something precious. Precious. Find something even more precious. So, this person's optimistic. Wow! I can talk to them! And I can hear what they're saying. Oh, yeah, so was there a primer on the ship? Was that something I should be thinking about? Nope, the next one is Bevel Temple. So we are good. Uh, we'll not worry about it. I think we can just move on. Hidden uh, weapons are still... Oh, so... I probably only want to do just enough to beat Sin, which means, oh, I could do nothing. But I think it would be easy enough to get Yuna's. I think that Yuna's is the easiest to get, so I might as well just do that. Um, After rescuing Yuna, then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Go back downstairs? Oh, did I miss something? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she Should will Should I die. quit and come back? Sure as if you killed her yourself. No harebrained law or teaching can send my little niece to her death. I can when I cut it. Her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even against her will? Better than a dog's okay. death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree. You are the captain. Good! Then it's settled. He has a tattoo on his head? Okay, I can just go right back. Boom! <sighs> but I was so distracted by that that I uh, kind of didn't pay that much attention to the squabble. Oh, here we are. Look, it's Alved Sykes! I'm glad that the they... Oh, I can uh, recruit, I realize. Well, probably I can't because I haven't played any Blitzball matches. But, you know, in theory I could. Hey! 
Are you ready to, to blitz? Are you ready to blitz? We can get brother to blitz. We're not doing the blitz ball um, at, at the moment. Another Albed compilation sphere. Talk to Donna, change her fate. Ooh, Donna! Where's Donna? I don't see her. Uh, yeah, where is Donna? <laughs> where? Was it in that corner over there? Woman and child? Oh, there she is. Found her! Okay, great. Yay! She looks sad. She looks quite frowny face. Look, I'm really tired. Leave me. If it's not an emergency, would you mind leaving? Is something wrong? Okay. Is it about Bartello? Wait. There's something I want to ask you. <gasps> I don't think I've ever seen this. What would you think if I said I, I was giving up my pilgrimage? I don't feel like I have good choices here. Am I really changing her fate? What should I say? I'm tempted to say who cares. Who cares uh, means she'll go on and sure sounds good to me means she'll quit. I think I want her to quit, right? Because her going on, that's the standard thing. So, sure sounds good to me should be what I say. Because saying who cares, I guess that'll light a fire in her. Does she quit Um, in canon? Like, I don't remember what she does. Uh Sounds good to me. Unusual. Most people would never forgive a summoner who quit. Mm. Why's that? Behind my back, they would say I was abandoning my duty. Ooh. So who cares? He just said who cares? Do your own thing and let them say what they want. Easy for you to say. What do I think he would but, say? I think he could have said either of those easily. Point. Maybe Bartello and I should go someplace far away. Far away? Like to Xanarkin? Dream Xanarkin. So ah, oh, we have changed on his fate. We've done it. Oh yeah, we haven't been over here. Whoa, I don't remember even being here. This ship is gigantic! It's so big! Well, Donna also seems like somebody who would be self-conscious about being judged. Because, now again, projection, jo Donna is a big judger. She is constantly judging Yuna. So that means that she is probably feeling scrutinized all the time. Right? Let him say what he wants. Okay, we're back. Truth! Projection! Yeah. He called Yuna his uh, niece, right? That's correct. That means I Yuna's mean, a... Uh, so I'm bad! <laughs> Don't say it. <gasps> it's Yuna's okay! Yuna, right? Yuna's Yuna, but also... Didn't you just see how... The Albed saved the summoners? They saved them! No matter what happens, Yuna won't give up her They gave pilgrimage. up their lives for them. 
They valued them. Summon in insecurities. Can Yuni uh, uh, abandon her pilgrimage? Uh, will that happen? Hey, I guess we're gonna save again and then we're gonna have the scene. Um, yeah, so, I mean, yes, I do think that, uh, that Yevin is harsh, but also, um, I mean, I'm bringing in my own life experiences. I know uh, a lot of people, particularly women, I mean, women, I think, you know, I'm stereotyping, are more concerned about what other people think. And like, I know a particular friend and I've heard this in podcasts and stuff and just people talking about this idea that's like, oh, I have a baby and I wanna give up my job and be there for the baby because I don't wanna give the baby to a nanny and pay the nanny a bunch of money for work that I wanna be doing because I wanna be there for my kid. Oh, but I can't quit my job because everyone's gonna judge me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to make it sound so trivial, but everyone's going to think that I'm uh, lazy or a slacker and that I can't do it all or whatever it is. And what to my ears, it's just my, you know, just how I am to my ears. I'm like, who cares? Who cares what people think? Do what matters to you. I don't know where I just went or why I went here. I think I wanted to save, and then I didn't. I think I wanted to go to the save sphere that was in this corner. Um, but you know, highly concerned about what uh, phantoms, strangers, coworkers, people out there will think, and letting that um, change the trajectory of people's lives. It, I'm pretty shocked by how people can be controlled by these things like, oh, what will people say? Like, who cares what they say? Titus's reaction is exactly my reaction. What will they say? I don't know. Okay, can I go now? First, we rescue Yuna. Let's show them what we got. Yeah, I wanna go. First, we rescue Yuna. What do I have to do? No matter what happens. What do I do? Like Yuni, I is there someone I talk to? Don't tell me. Oh, here we go. I found Yuna! We found Yuna. Where? Yuna! We're there! We're here! I think her I wanna wear a wedding dress like hers. She looks so pretty. Although I guess it's showing a little bit too much skin. I don't think I wanna do that. Where was that? The Palace of Saint Bavel. I like the Hi, way her hair yeah. is done. Gramps, let's move. I wish I could do my hair like that. Yeah, I can't anymore. Bavel's defenses are top notch. What's the matter, Gramps? Are you scared? Gramps. Yuna's there, so we go and get her. And that's all. Ugh, the thinking, the yeah. simplistic thinking. You got guts. God, we could do Bavel. This, uh, you know, me and Titus, we share things in common. I am very much like, it's right there, go and get it. Don't overthink anything in your life is way better. Believe me. Like doing YouTube and streaming. Just do it! Do it! That, that was me. Just one day, hit and go live. Don't care what my camera is. Don't care what my audio is. I'm just going live because I don't even know if I'm gonna like being live. I'm, maybe I'll hate it. All right, are we going or what? I thought we were gonna go. Time to save again. Cause I don't know. We saw a cutscene. Are we going again? They grabbed Yuna back in the Sanubia Desert. One of the Guado squads that attacked home found her. It's funny how she's not in the full gown, but when you get to the CGI scene, her wedding veil is on her face. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Like, where's her veil? The city of Bavel is built on the water. There may be underwater fighting. Oh, no. You or Riku should study your magic, just in case. How, how will I have time to do that? I'm glad Yuna's okay and all, but what's with those fancy clothes? <laughs> Waka! Wedding dress. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's with those fancy clothes? I'm glad she's okay. What's Seymour doing alive? What was Waka 
thinking? Didn't we take care of him in Macalania? He is dead. As dead as Jiskel was. Shocking! His attachment to this world kept him from the next. Whoa, scary. Yuna must be trying to send him. Wonder if that'll work. It shouldn't be that hard Perhaps to send him, but... It. I think that's a plot hole. It's not a big deal, though, I think. It's like, how hard is it to send someone who's dead? The Vel. It's been ten years. He's ready to go back to Bavel at the beginning of his pilgrimage. <laughs> wedding my britches. Not while I am around. We're gonna crash a wedding! I remember oh, this scene. I'll I give him something to remember. It um on the Resident Arc podcast, the scene was torn apart as having many holes in it. But I kind of I'm one of those people who is fine with having my brain turned off and going, it's so cool, because I just remember how my heart soared seeing the scene. Make your supper. It didn't matter how much it didn't make sense. I'm in the camp of if you think it doesn't make sense after you watched it, then it's done its job. Because stories are more about how you feel, how they're they're designed to make you feel a certain way. Same with the opening of Final Fantasy X, too. Like, anyone who's like, well, you know, it was LeBlanc who was technically the person dancing as Yuna. I am in the camp of thinking the creators didn't think about it, nor did they care that it was LeBlanc actually dancing. The lyrics are not about LeBlanc. Like, none of that makes any sense. And, it, and anyone who tries to actually tr try to make sense of it is putting more effort thinking about it than the people who created it did. It's, what? Why even? Why bother? That's that's my take on that. Do do people want to hear my takes? I don't know. The veil. I, okay. So if I try leaving, okay, there we go. <sighs> Trying to leave typically triggers a scene. We are being attacked from within. Oh, being attacked from it within. So I guess we do have an opportunity to trade on magic. You're awfully calm about it. I am calm about most things. Fiends. There's nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and all go down together. Oh. Mm. Huh. You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Yeah! Leave the fiends to us professionals. Professionals. Yeah, let's go! They make such a cute pair. Yes. Think if Titus and Yuna got married... Friends, Good luck. Then Titus and Rika would be cousins. And then they would be real family. They already look like family. Ah, look, they're so cute. Don't worry, Rita, don't talk about at all. That's exactly what I want to hear. A hundred percent what I want to hear. <laughs> Battling time. I didn't know. I forgot that we spent so be much careful. time on the airship. Don't worry, we'll guard this area. Uh, the guardian of Bavel. May I help you? I don't need your help. Thank you. Your Yeah, here we are. Some battling. Uh, some uh, fighting, training up on our magic. So, uh, Lulu talked to Riku, right? Or was it just to me? Like, oh, you better train up on our magic. Lulu wants to train. Did we get the darkness? We did. We did get it. Let's get a power break in there and hopefully just uh, stone it. Yep. I'm low-key mad that Titus and Yuna aren't a couple. That would be too obvious. What do you mean? Titus and Yuna are the most obvious thing ever. It's been from embedded from the beginning, you know. Lulu will be in, then she'll be out. We'll get a steal in there. From that, uh, Riku will get walking. Everyone will have a grand old time. I did I get walking before? I don't recall. Riku rescued him though. Yes, and he had a dream about her. And and we have
have some romance scenes with her, that's true. See ya. <laughs> wow, that memory cursor is between fights. It remembers I used Sloga last. All right. Is we'll the party leave the over? Other compartments to you. You'll leave the other compartments? Like, am I going into the compartments? Again? Well, what are you doing for yourself, huh? I want to see Valifor summoned again. Oh, Donna's up. Hey, Donna. It's too cramped to call Aeons here. Ah, oh, Donna! Oh! Let's fight to you. Show us your stuff. She is a diva. All right, thanks! Not me, I always courted Lulu. Hmm, people have different tastes, huh? Well, we don't have uh, much in the way of magic. Well, I should steal. I will steal. I'll be a good girl. We gotta get more bomb cores in here. I'll do some uh, sloga. I think that would be nice. Yeah, getting the, uh, some slow happening. I could, um, silence them, or I could have Lulu <laughs> go forever. Um, we're good here. I, it was Yuna, and then I noticed Lulu as an adult. Maybe this is just something me as a... Uh, as a me, as a Miranda, doesn't understand. Silence is for one turn. What if I want to silence for more turns? Woo! Woo, that was super strong. Wow. That was great. We got so many bomb cores. Ooh. You never notice even as an adult. Who could not notice? Even me. Even young me. I was a bit like, hmm. I think that her clothes are quite suggestive. I just have a feeling, you know. Don't worry yourself. We're just talking about who our crushes were as kids and now. <gasps> Nobody should ever grow out of their crush of Yuna, I say. I think I've already stolen. It's over. Oren would say that had he been in this fight. Oren still has an opportunity to be in this fight. Well... What do I do? Will, uh, will I make it blow up? Oh no, I don't want to do that. I should have just used some other ability. Yeah, that's what I should have done. So I'll have, uh, Orn in here doing some, uh, a guard or something. Uh, was that, even if the move didn't do anything, was that good enough? Okay, we're okay. We're all good. I don't think I had any childhood crushes. I, um, hmm. Yeah, I can't say that I was big into having crushes. Okay, so there isn't like a big fight that happens here. It's just fights along the corridors that I can train up in if I want. Oh, right. There's another save sphere up on top, right? So I can just go along there. I don't think I should say it, but I have never been that fond of Yuna. Well, everyone has different tastes. But if you are not fond of Yuna, then you have personally offended me! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Except for that I love Yuna so much that I wish I was her. 
And so, if you don't, if you're not fond of Yuna, does that mean that you're not fond of me? If that feels possible. I know I'm a different person from Yuna, but I admire her so much. Yuna is third place in YRP. Oh! Oh! How could this be? Yuna is my idol. If someone were to ask me, you know, who is your female role model? It would be Yuna. Even though she's fictional. It's hard. Uh, you know. It's hard to come up with role models. Uh, right. This has cleared out pretty quickly. Do the Yevin da 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 da. There it is. Oh, now there's a rare sight. Wow, even that has a veil. Whoa, that's huge. How am I gonna wear a veil, by the way? What I tried to wear one today. The I just had to balance it on my head. Every. There's no way for it the to grip. Sacred beast. Protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. <laughs> Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me. Her English voice does we're take a bit to get used to. Get on deck and show him what you got. Go. There he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, Ren is ready! He's ready to offer me services once again! I saved. We're just gonna go in, I think. I mean, I can move up a slot. Oh, I would just won't bother. We'll, we'll just go in. It's fine. It's fine! Fine. I think. Well, whatever. I threw caution to the wind. I, as I said, I'm not a completionist. I am not a perfectionist at all. I, um... Oh. Okay. Hmm, that beast is a little bit furry. Furry on top. That looks quite flat. Gotta keep our distance, boys, but we can't let her get too far away. Oh yeah, I was like the only girl who was not boy crazy among my group of girlfriends when I was in grade school. And my crush. I did have a crush. But tell me quick, huh? This rig ain't so nimble, you hear? Roger, I'll give the commands. But he was um my neighbor. In like a friend of my brother's who came over to the house and like we played video games together and um, he was really really shy and he didn't talk at school and I just kind of thought oh he's like just like me we share a connection because neither of us talk and we're shy and he was also an older brother too and he took care of his younger brothers and I found that really cute and that was really my only crush that I had for a long time. Because I was able to romanticize his life and peer into it. I wasn't really... It wasn't like I... A lot of girls like look at teen magazines and stuff and go like, Oh! Boys! But I, I don't know. I wasn't really like that. No, it wasn't Stefan. It wasn't Stefan. Uh, though Stefan, I did go to grade school with them. Um, but he was a couple years below me. The the person was in my grade, so. But he was a year older than me in a few days. Mm. Oh no. The blue is after the red. And it's after the yellow. Yeah. It is... I guess it's easy enough. Urkel? <laughs> no! It can be a dogfight if you're not prepared. Oh, I guess I'm not prepared. Well, I should do slow on it. 
And I should do slow, like, right now. And I should cast haste on everyone. Oh, yeah. Move in and pull back. Oh, I forgot about all this stuff. I, I want to cast low. That is what I want to do right now. Oh, look. It Lula said train up on magic, and it has all elementals. Um... So is it Titus who's only able to give controls? Uh, I should pay attention to its moves. Um, I'm gonna cast haste on Waka. I don't know why I am, but I am. Um, I don't know if... Let's see. Oh, poison breath. Releases poison breath. I think that the Albed potion heals that. So. Was it? Oh, stone gaze. Oh, hmm. Ha, ah, I see. I might want to have some softs, you know. This is fine. Oh, yeah, Riku can give controls. Yes, thank you. I can't beat Sin. I just use Anmoto. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't. I still have been like that. I, I, Stefan, was attempting to court me for a full year and a half before I was like, hmm, okay. I think I like you. I we spent so many hours talking, and I felt like I learned so much about him that I grew fond of him. But yeah, I'm not, like, big into having crushes. But I have... I love Yuna as someone I admire. So, I guess as as, as me, I don't look at Lulu and, and think anything. <laughs> Other than, wow, she is quite curvy. Hmm. Observation on my part. Um. What should I be thinking about? Well, Rika should be stealing. Um... So I should be pulling back for a reason, right? I don't know what that reason is. Is it when I'm anticipating the monster doing something in particular? I just put haste on Waka and I took him out. <laughs> I'm funny. I don't want to extract power. What am I doing? Immune, hmm. Um, will doing scan give me info? I might as well do it. I'll just do it for fun, you know? Court? Sounds like what my ex put me through! <laughs> this is very funny. Let's see. High magic defense. Too bad I don't have magic defense break or whatever it is. No elemental weaknesses. Exhales poison breath if hit repeatedly by melee attacks. Oh, ask Sid to move the airship away and he'll launch a volley of guided missiles for you. Immunities. Zombie. Petrification. Poison. Magic break. Armored break. Oh, so those, those didn't work. Uh, the magic? Oh, I get... Magic break and armor break. Ah. Okay, then. I guess I'll go and I'll, I'll do the command for fun. We'll do that. Go back farther away. Just a minute. I'll see what happens. Don't be fallen now. Well, uh, see how I get frustrated? It's, you know, I, like, I've played this game a couple of times, and even though I don't remember exactly how this fight goes, it does come back. And so I... Also, I think it's... I don't struggle too much. In, or at least I don't feel like I struggle. Like, in terms of uh, emotional pain, I don't feel it. Anyway, um... Let's see, we're here at a distance, if I recall. I have Waka sped up. <laughs> I 
Waka can throw his uh, Blitz Ball. And then there's a Photon Spray. So this better be worth it, because of, you know, the whole... <laughs> um, you know. Wait, actually, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something, but I forgot it. I gotta go to work. Thanks for killing the time. I enjoyed it a lot. Just 12 hours of work now. 12 hours? Oh, I'm sorry for that, Nathan. Hopefully it goes by quickly. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again, but uh, no pressure considering the time difference. Uh, yeah. Um, it didn't look like it was uh, dark immune. Or I didn't get the sense that it was dark immune. Even though maybe that doesn't matter. Was it sleep immune? I bet it was. Yeah, that is definitely immune. Uh, like, I can use magic, but then it's at a distance. Oh, will I... Will I... Did the missiles trigger? They didn't, right? Am I waiting for Sid? After a couple turns? I think I am. Because I don't think I have, like, another drain. Hmm. Special guard threaten. Hmm. Focus. Raise party's magic and magic defense. Raise party's evasion. Like, oh, there's things to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I'll, uh, figure it out, I guess. I'll just, I'm basically just hanging out. Aim, raise party's accuracy. Why not? Why not do that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, hitting it. Hit it! I guess I could have used Riku. If, if we have Riku's mix, we can put ourselves into another, uh, nice situation. Salvo's remaining. So is this when we go upward, or do we remain back with the thing hitting? Maybe we just stay back. Interesting. We probably want our magic defense up, but evasion's good too. Hmm. Yeah. And we have a uh, cheer, strength, and defense. Nice. A oh, magic defense would probably be pretty good, actually. <laughs> I can uh, get Riku to. I don't think I have my overdrive on Riku, but it's really close. The more you use Titus's cheer ability, it'll make everyone temporarily stronger if you do it five times. Five times? Do I actually have to do it five times in order for it to really, like, take effect on everyone? I've, you know, I've changed people in my party, too. It's whatever. Ooh, it's so strong. Yeah, Titus is saying to Waka, you can do it! Time to blitz! Oh, for full effect five times. Well. We have one remaining, and then I guess after that, we'll just get closer. Um. Why did I want to stay on Riku? He just can haste. I don't remember why I switched to Riku. <laughs> why? Oh yeah, it was because of overdrives. 
Well, one day something will happen. She has mug now. Nice. <laughs> Jinx five times. This is fine. This is great. Oh, wow. You know, the actually, the. It's going down substantially, the damage here. And we're just hanging out, really. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is my strategy. I know it's kind of probably surprising that I'm not just, I'm just not doing anything. It's, it's, it's cool though. We're all good. <laughs> the boss is slow and I'm fast though. It's such a, feels like such a waste. I'm like, oh, there's nothing else for me to do. I wanted the thing to attack me. Um, yeah, evasion, more evasion, that would be great. Oh, the magic defense we can do, that would be great. Okay, now we can get up close. I say... Haste! We must cast slow! Uh, I'm gonna cast slow. Uh, someone else can get... <laughs> Riku can deal with this. Missing! That is disappointing. <gasps> All that boosted evasion! Oh, I didn't even have to do that. Great. Wow? Wow, what? Oh, I, I want a steal going on. I know that I can do slots, but I want Riku to steal. Or I can do mugging, which is... Wow, we're so close. Quite the tail, I see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Waka's strength is up significantly because of everything we've done with Waka. La la la. Um, ice, I guess. Um, yeah, after the blue. Yeah, look at that. I'm a little bit slow at the at it, but at least I'm doing it. That didn't feel like that was very much stronger than usual. Can I slow? I would very much appreciate if you were slow. It's still missing. Why are you missing? Okay, this is when Riku has her amazing ability of the Albed potion. And then also Riku now has the mix. Even though she has it, I now don't really want to use it. Why do I keep missing? <gasps> At last! Oh. <laughs> well then, this is a battle of something. Um... Because I was going to do the light curtains thing. Um, but we're, like, so at the end of this fight. And I have bomb cores and stuff. I mean, maybe I just won't. Maybe I just won't, you know? Like, look at that. 6,000 left. Uh, the dark attack doesn't work, right? It's... It's okay. Uh... <gasps> I'm out! Alright, it's fine. I'll let it be... I'll let it haste! It's whatever! <laughs> We're so close to the end. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, we'll do a delay attack. Oh, wait. I have no MP! It's fine! We'll... Like, Miranda, you can use items. No! We're dead! We're, we're done, I mean. We're done! <laughs> so, was that a hard fight? Was that a lot of pain and torture? It wasn't, was it? It just kind of seems that everything works out, you know? I see Bavel! 
We did it, a black magic sphere. Well, we got the good stuff too. Now we are rewarded. Look how pretty she is! I want to be just like her! Is her veil all the way to the ground? It is. That's very cool. Ooh, and it's so lacy. Or is it? Should I have a veil all the way to the ground? Hmm. What is it about veils? Like, what is the history of veils? Because her dress is short, but her veil is long, and the contrast is quite nice. <gasps> I love this scene! It makes my young teenage heart excited. Why all the pyre flies in the air? Look, this is when he- Oh, the veil just blew away! This is when Kiedis is gonna ride down and it's gonna be like, Look, he's coming to rescue his girl! And he's so excited when doing it. He has a- uh, That sport agility. Yeah, time to crash the party! Wait, was the veil ever in g game graphics? Yuna! It never was, was it? It probably was too difficult. Just like bed sheets. I bet it was too difficult to actually animate. If they uh, did they do it? I don't think they did. Cuz yeah, it, the same as with bed sheets. Like if you ever see a character on a bed, they're never under covers because that's too hard to do in games. Yeah. That is why I want a remake of this game. They still won't do it. They still don't do it in modern games, do they? I don't think they do. A lot of effort. Oh yeah, I still don't have any. It's okay. Everyone's health. I, I, uh, I really stress everyone out, you know? Let's end this. Yeah, Lulu can take care of it, because Lulu, I gave a break during the last battle. Uh. I don't know. Okay. It's gone anyway. Though, I, it would be nice to put darkness on the others. Uh, they're pretty weak, though. Compared. There's no point in doing these things, probably. They're just in the way. Yeah, just two, two hits and then they're gone. We can just attack through this, huh? <laughs> Even though everyone's health is suffering greatly. I, um... Uh, it's just power through it. Walk is hitting them with the ball. I guess I could have switched out characters too, but... Mm, yeah, maybe I'll think about that for next time. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so... We can grid a little bit. While we're here. We got some points, you know? Not a lot. Like, woo! Magic defense increased by one! Now it's a party. Look, we can do a level two for that. So that Lulu can have some strength or whatever. Ah. Uh. Gotta go over here. Oh, we're not gonna have the sphere for luck. So there's a level one right here. And this level one will make me go where? Will I be skipping ahead? Is that the deal? That's what it kind of looks like. Yeah. We gotta be super strong for this! I'm sorry, but there is no way outside of this game they'd get shot by those bullets. Like, if this were a movie, they'd totally not get shot. Have you seen Star Wars? I reacted that way to Star Wars when I saw the movie. Just like, oh, there's so many bullets flying everywhere. And like, how are they not getting hit? And like, how is... Like, it, it's movie immunity. It's just a thing, you know? World logic doesn't exist in things, I think. What's the best thing to do? Using Riku's overdrive that I saved so much for, I could just use, uh... Like, uh... I have no more. Like, I, yes, I know I could use an item, but no! Immune. I figured it would be immune as a Makina, yeah? Hmm. Very strong. Just wow. Ooh. Uh-oh, Waka, don't die. Oh, Waka's dead. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is real bad! Ah! Uh, her overdrive isn't that fantastic. Oh, okay, that wasn't better. I thought that by putting my fingers on it that would make it better, but it didn't. Uh, um, damages all enemies. Damages uh. Ugh! Scary. Okay. and have this happen. Don't leave the Machina alone. Well, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Fire? Use fire? I don't have fire anymore! I have Riku. I can mix, uh... two, two bomb cores. I don't want to go through this again. I don't know how much HP the thing has. <laughs> that was so scary! <laughs> I am- no, I'm okay. I survived that. I survived it. That was very scary and I had no idea it was gonna be like that, but wow. <laughs> it's okay. We we managed to narrowly get through that. 
I'm glad I, I saved it. Uh, at least that time. <sighs> Man. Fire and water is a Makina's weakness, so I'll remember that if I have to deal with that again. This is not terrible. High potions don't seem like they should matter that much. <sighs> These guys, like, just they seem so small compared. I'll be dealing with two of them after this. Oh no. Why do they do this to me? There's no point in having it be a power break. Uh, <laughs> no point at all. Yes, attack Riku! She needs <laughs> her overdrive meter to go up. Um, here, let's get. We'll get Locket in here. Are they immune to, to the stone touch? How come they're not getting, you know? Oh, okay. Kamari has a sensor on. Bavel Machina is weak to water and fire, but Albed is weak to lightning. I didn't know that. Yeah. I would think it would all be weak to lightning. Why is my dark attacks not working? It seems like they should. I don't think Petus has gotten a hit in. There we go. Take that! You big meanie. Oh, I am so scared. Ah I mean, yeah, like just narrowly moving the, the grid up isn't going to help me very much. Like, oh, I got a baby bit more strength and a baby bit more agility. And then, of course, I can't get luck. So, that's no fun. Um, I have the MP one. <laughs> Could give Tidus some more MP! Skill node? Already used by an ally. Hmm. I'm so scared. I am so scared. <laughs> yeah, we're at another one. Okay, so we prioritize that one on the right, yes? With fire. So I'll use one of the bomb cores on it. Because uh, <gasps> I don't care, I'm just doing it! <sighs> scary. Immune to power break. So, yeah, the other two uh, comparatively are weak. Um, I mean, Riku's health is not great. And this could be a problem. Riku has comrade! Well, that's great. Okay. I can heal myself. Well, I guess... We'll see. I'll have an all-bed potion ready. Okay, it's gone. Great. Um, so now I'll use an all-bed potion. <laughs> this has been a fun time! I could also use uh, just a high potion on myself. That might be nice, too. Ah, 
all the head potions are fine. Um, <laughs> we're okay. We've survived. I challenged Sephiroth and I survived. I don't know exactly what he said. It was something along those lines. Okay, let's give someone else a chance to kill. Yeah! There we go. Is Waka faster than Oren? I'm pretty sure that Oren is the slowest out of everyone. It's just being, you know. The scent of the far plane, you know. Okay, we're still alive, everyone. Still alive. All oh, right, so this new um, overdrive. Pariku. Um, comrade. This will give her way more opportunity to fill her overdrive. So that's great. Riku. Gets a tiny bit more strength. Probably she won't be using it, but that's okay. Barely alive. Oh, true. It'd be nice if he had MP. All right, that thing in the back. We want to get it, don't we? I'm using my bomb cores. That's probably a terrible thing. Oh, but you did say ice too, right? Was it... Water and fire. So I have some fish scales too. Maybe it's not as great. Fire. We're not dead. Look at that. Not dead, everyone! Do you not like narrowly winning by a little bit? I'm not a grinder! I'm not grinding. This has gone far enough. Stop. Well, thank you, Reggie. Now we're here. Oh, it's so late. I didn't realize. Wow, his veins are quite veiny. There it is! It just appeared miraculously. Where did it come from? How did she get it? At this moment! Yeah, it is a problematic scene. Uh, but it's so dramatic, isn't it? You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? My 14-year-old self was riveted by this. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. Wow, look at his suit, too. <laughs> Yuna has the wings of Alifor. Stop! Titus's uh, sword appears in his hand sometimes. Your friends lives. What about the time that Waka was talking about Chapu and it was just conveniently right there in his hand? Like, why is it in his hand? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them or throw them away. The choice is yours. Mike is so old. I didn't know they made people look old in games until now.
you are wise. I would think it would be easy to send him, but you know. We all needed to see this. The pure jealousy and venom and anger from both Titus and Yuna. Did Lulu just look away? Intent to, is she still married to Seymour? I think that... I don't know, what do people think about her marriage? That kind of seems to not come up ever again, right? Kill them. <gasps> but it's so dramatic and romance! I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? <laughs> There are exceptions. <gasps> it's for Yevin! There's lots of Machina from Yevin. No! Lots! Throw down your weapons. Let them go. Or else. That did not match. Ah, ma, 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 ma. That's a very long train. That is quite an immodest dress. I don't think I could wear that. Oh, well, that worked. Leave now, please. You're coming with us. Don't worry, go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe. Hmm. I mean, Seymour's watching, so... A rare glimpse of Bevel, I think. Like that, you know. I wonder how be big Bevel really is, because we see so little of it in the game. That was one of the things pointed out, like, cover your eyes! <laughs> Let me look directly at it! Even though she's yelling, what cover your that? eyes! And all that flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through! Titus wasn't even jealous, he was just mad that he forced himself onto her? You think that's all it was? Goes to one place only. Could be mixed, a mixture faith. of things. Oh no, the Chamber of the Faith. I'm not ready for this. We're, we can't do this today. It's too quiet. Well, we didn't lose in that battle, so I'm really grateful for that. In an alternate world, I lost in that Machina battle, and we would have huh? to be watching that scene again. What's a Machina doing in the temple? Mmm. I suppose it comes in handy. What about what's That's a Machina what doing trying to kill teachings. us? What about the teachings? What about the guns? Hey, don't look at me. In the mechs! Why would he be jealous of a walking corpse? Because the walking corpse gets to marry her and he doesn't! That's why! Wait! I don't want to go down! I, I changed my mind! Can I go back, please? A 
Another Machina? Man. I want to go so back. This is Yevon's true face. They what if I missed something? What if there was a missable and we have to watch that whole thing again? <sighs> they treated us like dirt. Wow. I want to go back. <gasps> We're going back. <laughs> That was fun. Oh, look at that. We can. Okay. Cool. Yuna hates him. Doesn't matter. She gets to... She's married to Seymour. If, if... If the person I loved was married to someone else, I would be pretty upset about it. I want to go up the stairs. Who said Titus was jealous? I do! I think I would be jealous if I was Titus. It, jealous of uh, being able to marry Yuna. Because I would want to marry Yuna. As Titus, I would I would want to be married to her. And I would want her to be mine. Not someone else's. It doesn't matter if he's dead or if she doesn't like him. She is still being controlled by somebody else. Who's not me! And I want to control her. You know? <laughs> anyway. It is the end of stream time. So, um, yeah. It is the end. And that's all I have to say about that, that it's the end of stream. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Reggie, Sean, Artsvanti, um, anyone else who may be here and who was here or anyone who is watching this back. Uh, and the puppy and Zena. Oh, she's, she's over here. And look at her. She likes to spend time with us as well. Yes. Um... <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Next time. Friday.